Now, we are going to learn how to make decisions in our code. This will give us the ability to have our program decide what lines of code to run depending on what the user inputs, calculations, etc. This is the most important part of this video. So be sure to spend a good amount of time to understand it well. So in programming, decision-making is known as branching statements or if statements. An if statement works the same way that a decision is made. You check a condition and if the condition is true, you perform the task. And if it's not true, then you move on without performing that task. For example, am I hungry? Yes, I am. So I'm going to eat something. Or it's raining. If it, it's raining, I'll take an umbrella. The same decision-making process can be implemented in programming using an if statement. Now, all branching statements begin the same way, with the keyword if. Following the keyword is what is known as a condition. Lastly, there will always be an ending colon at the end of the statement. The if statement checks to see if the given condition is true or false. If the condition is true, then the code block runs. If it is false, then the program continues without running any of the code intended directly after the if statement. So let's try it out. Go ahead and run the cell. Notice here that the output is x is less than y. This is because we originally declared x equal to 5 and y equal to 10, and then used an if statement to check if x was less than y, which it was. If x was equal to 15, then the print statement intended after the if would have never ran, because the condition would have been false. Now, before we continue with branching statements, we need to go over comparison operators. So far, we've used arithmetic operators for adding and sub subtracting, subtracting values and assignment operators for declaring variables. And with the information of the if statement, we've now seen comparison operators. There are several comparisons that you are able to make. Most comparison operators that you'll see is shown in this table. So there is equality comparison operator, inequality, greater than, less than, greater or equal, less or equal. And a great use for our newly learned conditional statement is for checking user input. So let's try. Go ahead and run that cell. Our conditional statement checks to see if the user's input is equal or is equal to the integer 10. If it is, then the intended printed print statement will run. Notice in line 2 that we ask for user input and immediately convert their answer to an integer. And we did not use a try and accept. Inputting a non-number would result in an error. 